<clears throat> Recording's mm. going. All right. <clears throat> All right, outside of the headmaster's house. All right, let's go get these two other optionals done. <clears throat> I've been waiting for you all. Did you have a look at my request? We did. You want us to hold a class for the children, right? What do you want us to teach them, though? Don't worry, it's nothing too difficult. I just want you to teach them a little bit about Aerobonia. I see, that explains why you asked us, then. This is a good chance for them to learn about life outside the settlement. They attend Sunday school, so they're fine in regards to regular studies. Might I ask how Sunday school is carried out here? A traveling priest comes by once a month to hold it. We really can't be thankful enough for all his efforts. <clears throat> what do you think about it? The sheer amount of the work the church does on such a huge scale is really amazing. <laughs> I want to say, I, I want to say that that traveling priest that comes here to do it is Kevin Graham from Trails in the Sky. <clears throat> Indeed, it's all thanks to the goddess's generosity. Do you have time to help? If so, I'll call the children over. Yes, we're ready when they are. Thank you. Oh, I meant to say, we want this to be similar to Sunday school, so we'd like to just one of you, we'd like just one of you to serve as the teacher. <clears throat> Feel free to pick among yourselves, though keep in mind that Gaius isn't a candidate. Hmm, who's the ideal candidate for this then? Hmm, I believe each of us would have our own unique things to teach here. That's true, I think it might be best to go with Emma then. Actually, I believe that you would be the best candidate for this, Reen. What? I was thinking the same thing myself, actually. Social standing's pretty important in Erebonia, and there's a broad variety of opinions about it. But you're kind of a special case, Reen. That's true. His unique position allows him to discuss things from a relatively unbiased point of view. But I think you'd be a good choice, Reen. Even taking your position out of the equation, you're almost always the center of our class anyway. Well, I suppose I can't say no if everyone feels that way, can I? All right, then I'll do it. <laughs> Thanks. Well, looks like we're ready to begin. Wonderful. I'll gather the children right away. Indeed, but I need to get something first. <clears throat> Is that everyone? I don't see Toma anywhere, though. Um, Toma's part of the older group in Sunday School, so... Yeah, he's got work to do, too, so he can't come. I see. I was hoping he'd be here, too. Let's get started, then. <laughs> I'm so excited. Glad to hear it. I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm Reen Schwarzer. My friends and I came here from Thor's Military Academy. Thor's Military Academy. <laughs> You're from the same academy as Gaius, then. School's for studying and stuff, right? What do you study there? Well, we get taught all kinds of things, really. There are basic subjects like history and math, but being a military academy, we also learn the art of combat. That's the same stuff Lacan and everyone else uses to fight monsters, isn't it? That's so cool. I see you've got a boyish side to you after all. Yeah, despite being a little scaredy cat. I am not. <laughs> hey, now there's no need for teasing. Hey, hey, how far is that academy from here? How far in terms of distance? Um, you came here on something called a train, didn't you? Could you tell us how long that trip took? Well, that makes... Oh, that makes it a bit easier in that case. If we take the transfer times out of the equation, then... We were on the train for about eight hours, I'd say. That's pretty far. Daddy told me the trains are fast, too. So it still took that long even then? It must be super far away then. It really is. Though, the fact that we still made it here in a day is pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> It'd have taken a lot longer by horse. Um, can I ask something too? Of course. Right, what's the biggest place in Erebonia then? That would be Heimdall, which is our capital city. Heimdall. That's a cool name. 
Yeah, it sounds strong. <laughs> That's a unique way to judge it. Um, how many people live there? Hmm. From what I remember, it's around 800,000 people. 800,000? Is that a lot? <laughs> Seems like they can't comprehend a number that big just yet. Then again, I can't imagine that many people in one place either. <laughs> You're not the only one. Of course, you'd never actually see that many people all at once. Seems to be doing just fine. So it seems. A lot of it's common knowledge, though. Well, I'm just glad to see them learning something. <laughs> He's not a bad teacher. If anyone has any further questions, please feel free to ask. Um, can I ask something then? Of course, what is it? How long ago was Thor's first built? Guys told me all about how it was a long history, but I forgot what exact when exactly it was made. Hmm. Thor's was founded 220 years ago, roughly 30 years after the War of the Lions ended. The founder was none other than Emperor Dragos, a legendary figure in the Empire and even here in the Highlands. Founding the Academy was one of the last things he did before he passed away. That's a long time. I didn't know that Emperor Dragos was the one who founded it. I know who he is too. He was friends with our ancestors, wasn't he? Yeah, he won the war and became the most important person in Erebonia. Yep, that's how he became the Emperor. Hearing you all talk about him really goes to show how deep his connection with Nord was. So is there anything else you'd like to ask? Me, me, I have a question. <clears throat> well, it's almost time for us to finish up for the day. Is there anything else you'd like to know before then? Hmm, I think I've asked everything. I can't think of anything else either. You two really did ask a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seems she's not all, all out just yet. We talked about them before, but what are nobles? Well, you see, there's been a class system in place within Erebonia for a long time now. What's a class system? Hmm, could you give me a few minutes to think? I'm not entirely sure how I should answer this. Um, can I ask as well, now that it's been brought up? Go ahead. I'm not sure if either of them will really understand if you try to explain normally, so... Could you give us your own thoughts on nobles instead? That might make things easier to understand. That makes giving an answer easier, too. Well, things escalated quickly, didn't they? Indeed. I wonder how he'll answer. Hmm, this is still a bit tough. I don't think there's really a right or wrong answer, so I'll just give a ding. So I'll just have to answer with my heart, I guess. To me... That's exactly what nobles represent. I think nobles are all about taking pride in one's lineage. Oh. Whether the class system is a good thing or not is something I don't feel capable of answering just yet. But I think nobles want to live up to the legacy their predecessors left them. And by trying to do that, they better themselves as individuals. At the very least, I do think that sort of mindset can be a good thing. Of course, that isn't something exclusive to nobles. I see. I think I get what you're trying to say. I'm just rambling now. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. I learned a lot from what you've told us. <laughs> I didn't really get it, but you sounded really cool. Yeah. So that's how he feels. That was a really thoughtful response. <laughs> One very like him as well. <laughs> it was. I'm very impressed, to be honest. Regardless, that should be enough for today. Make sure to thank him now, everyone. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Let me give you something to thank you for taking your time to teach the children. I believe that was a very valuable experience for all of them. I hope they got what I was trying to say. It wasn't exactly the easiest subject matter. <laughs> we could really tell you were really enthusiastic, though. And I think the kids picked up on that, too. She's right. They all seem to have been enjoying themselves. Your answer to that final question was rather impressive as well. Yeah, it looks like the kids aren't the only ones who learned something new today. I got so caught up in the details that I couldn't really explain myself properly. But I'm glad you guys think I did okay. <laughs> you should have some more confidence in yourself. At any rate, here's your compensation for playing teacher today. Thank you, ma'am. Well then, I wish you the best of luck with that field study of yours. May the blessing of the winds and the goddess be with you. Alright. Wandering sheep.
<clears throat> hey there, I was waiting for you. How in the world did the fence end up like this? Your guess is as good as mine. Seems like it got broken sometime just before noon. Unfortunately, some of the sheep have managed to escape too. I doubt there's any need to worry about monsters getting them because they're surprisingly fast, but... Would you be able to go out and find them for me? I would. Gladly. How many sheep managed to escape? Five of them in total. Based on their hoof prints, it seems like three went north, two went south. I'd actually like to go search for them myself, but I need to get this fence fixed up first. Otherwise, the rest of them will make a break for it as well. Don't worry, we'll take care of them. Shall we begin the search immediately then? That's probably the best idea, especially with how vast the highlands are. We'll need to make some preparations of our own before leaving, though. I agree. Heading out there with insufficient supplies is foolhardy. Right. Then let's get started once we're ready. Let's gather us up some shit. Wrong button. Actually, let's cook stuff. Oh no, get back on the horse. Get back on the horse, Reed. Like, I've been saying Seapith for the longest time. But since it's crystal, since it's small chunks of crystallized septium, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep calling it Seapith. Come down. Right. Here, here. 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 Leave it to me. Now. This is it. My turn. Okay, it's safe for now. Nice. Oh yeah, that's right. They got finishing blow now. <clears throat> is that one of them? Yes. That's one of the sheep we're looking for. What are we going to do with the sheep we find? I'll lead them back to the settlement with my horse, but we should leave guiding them back until after we found all five. Okay, we'll leave that to you then. Let's get going. Other sheep is over yonder. Yeah. Man, this the music in this area is just—it's just so tranquil. Like, it's not tranquil, but it's calming. Number deuce. Ah, found one. I'm surprised it managed to come all the way out here. <clears throat> Here's the second sheep. There's still a couple more out there, though. Yeah, but those other three sheep are out on the other side of the plane. Settlement, so we can go out the north way. Oh, we even we even got the sheep in our party. That's kind of cool. Um, oh wow! Uh, turn around, Reed. Other yeah. way. Yeah, let's fight this guy. This will take everything we have. Right. Let's go. It's my turn. Uh -huh. Leave it to me. Let's try and get a instant death. No. My turn. Right. Oh. Yeah. Uh, no. Leave it to me. My turn. All right. He ain't gonna be doing nothing. It's my turn. Go. Leave it there. I go where the wind takes me. 
Well, getting an upgrade material out of that would have been nice, but eh. Gotta go fast. Alright, North Islands. Ah, the wind here feels so nice. Agreed, it has a different flavor of freshness to it than the winds in the Southwestern Highlands. Oh, that's due to all the sheer cliffs around here. It gives the wind in this area a unique feel. The winds take many forms and bestow countless blessings on the people of Nord. Well, I can see why your people place such an importance on the wind. Yeah, and the view here is just as nice as the vistas in the southwest, too. Anyway, if we're all rested up, we should get... What's wrong? Oh, nothing, really. I was just looking at that cliff over there. <clears throat> is it just me, or does it look like there's something buried in it? Like some kind of giant what are you going on about there's no way something what an adios name is that I have no idea some kind of statue maybe do you think it's related to the stone circle in the southern reaches of the highlands? Honestly, we don't know all that much about it ourselves. It's an ancient statue said to be the guardian of the Nord Highlands. A guardian, huh? I guess it does give that kind of impression. Emma, you alright? Oh, sorry, I was just stunned speechless by that statue. Well, I can't say I don't understand the feeling of awe. I wonder how massive it must look when you're up close. I'd imagine it's more than likely that photographer we're seeking is in that area. So we'll need to venture closer regardless. <clears throat> By the way, if you head northeast of the statue, you'll find an ancient quarry. And due northwest is the scenic Lake Lacrima. It's always helpful to get the lay of the land, so there's no harm in visiting both of those sites, too. Makes sense to me. Alright, let's get moving. There are... A great many chests here. Big experience now. I did it. Now we're gonna get some good experience from killing foes. Yeah. In fact, we're gonna kill quite a few of these. Things are just easy peasy. Yeah. So there's a sheep and a chest over here. And a turtle. <laughs> right. Arcus, okay. Leave it to me. Chest. Yeah. 
sheep. Here we go. Looks like this one didn't stray too far from the settlement. Yeah. I believe this is the third sheep. Seems so. Let's keep searching. So good. It's so helpful. Yeah. Just over here. Whoa, whoa. Barrage. Don't need that. Cannon. <clears throat> I'm gonna give Reen Brave for a bit. What's Raven do? Begins battle with speed. I feel like he'd want. I don't know. I'll have Reen level up Brave for Laura. Yeah. Oh, it's an AOE one. gonna be somebody I wanna freaking wow. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. I'll say 
It must. We have the advantage. Huh. I can do this. Huh. Okay. Yes. It's my turn. Up there now. Go. 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 It's my turn. It's my turn. Fire. Yeah. Here. Battle's over. But stay alert, everyone. Try having yeah. our party placements like this for a bit. It's my turn. It's my turn. Arca. Leave it to me. A matter of yeah. Well, I gotta turn right up here to go get this chest. Oh, we made it all the way to where that giant statue is. It looks even more massive the closer we get. To get right in front of it, we'll need to go around the cliff. Bad time. We should hurry. <laughs> Just behind us. Yeah. And sheep all the way over here, I believe. Yes. Now's our chance. My turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. Not bad. Yeah. There it is. It appears to be safe. That's a relief. That's four sheep now. Yep, just one more to go. over here. Oh, that's a beautiful looking treasure chest. Please, give us your blessing. It's my turn. Hang in there. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, moon shield of treasure chest. My 
better. Right. Thanks. Okay. Gleaming. Now. Stop him. Harvest. What's harvest? It's 200 HP is what it is. <laughs> Let's go. Oof. Yeah. I ran all the way around the last cheap. Two chests over there. Oh, that's a beautiful looking treasure chest. Yeah. I think I need. I think I'm gonna make a dedicated healer in this this run. This one looks dangerous. Be careful. I can do this. Thanks. Leave it to me. Here we go. Go. Heal. It's my turn. Oh no. Leave it to me. I can do this. Go! I'll help. Go! There! It's my turn. Yes! All right. Go there! Go! Right! Let's go! I'll help. It's my turn. Yes, now! I've got you! Go! That's a chance! Here. I should probably... I should be jumping him. Right! Go! Now! Not with this... Not with these two, though. Right. Turn. Leave it to me. I can do this. <laughs> Thank you very much. There. Has a chance. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's my turn. Leave it to me. I can do this. Thanks. Here we go. There! Yes. Here we go! I can't! Turn to... Leave it to me. Nice auto revive! Right. It's my turn! Yes! Thanks! Here we go! There! Yeah! Here! Let's keep going! That almost went bad! That almost went very bad. What a large monster. We'll need to be careful. Yeah. Stop hassling my sheep. Over there. Wait. Is that three of them? And all together? No, those are monsters. Whew, that was unexpected. It really was. Alright, that should be all of them now. 
Good, good. We should let Watari know we found all of them. And there we go, all fixed up. Everything should be fine now, I hope. Yeah, they won't be able to get out again. Thanks for tracking them all down. I'm sure they're relieved to be back with their buddies. <laughs> it certainly looks that way. I'm amazed at how well Gaius led them back here. Likewise, it wouldn't have been nearly as simple a task for the rest of us. <laughs> it's just a matter of experience. Either way, the sheep are safe now. So here, take this as my thanks. Did these come from the sheep? Yup. It's good stuff, so eat up whenever you're feeling hungry. Thank you very much. Alright. This seems like a good spot to call the video. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Alright, until next time, everybody. We'll continue on with the story.